Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Vladimir Kramnik and Gary Kasparov. This is a game from the Kasparov Kramnik World Chess Championship match played in the year 2000. Vladimir Kramnik had white pieces and he started with d4. Gary Kasparov played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, the Nimtso Indian defense, considered by many the best defense against white's d4 c4 pawn setup. Kramnik played e3, the Rubenstein variation, Kasparov castled king's side, bishop to d3, d5, knight to f3, c5 attacking white center, Kramnik castled king's side, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, and Kramnik has an isolated queen's pawn. Is it bad? The game continued. b6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Bishop to b7, rook to e1, knight from b to d7, rook to c1, rook to c8, queen to b3. So far, quite simple and logical chess from both sides. Bishop to e7, unpinning. White to move. Kramnik, or his team, make good idea for Kramnik's next move from the game that was played in 1994. What is the idea? This is the idea. First move. Bishop takes on f6. Knight takes bishop. White to move. What did player with the white pieces have in mind? This position was first seen in Valby. Valby is one of the ten official districts of Copenhagen, Denmark. Interestingly, that game started with e4 and transposed from e4 opening to queen's gambit. And what is the idea? Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Kramnik played bishop takes pawn on e6. Pawn takes bishop. Queen takes on e6 check. King to h8. Queen takes bishop on e7. Kasparov played bishop takes knight, damaging the pawn structure and removing the defender of the pawn on d4. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes on d4. Knight to b5 attacking the queen. Queen takes pawn on b2. In the game Laszlo Danielsen in 1994. Danielson played queen to f4. He lost the game in 32 moves. Kasparov captured the pawn on b2. Rook takes takes rook. White to move. The white knight on b5 wants to join the party. Attacking the rook. Rook to b8. Knight to f7 check. King to g8. Queen to e6. Lining the queen with the black king. Black is in trouble. The king can go to h8. Rook to f8 was played. White to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight to h6? Double check. If you did, just want to let you know that the smother checkmate doesn't work. After king goes to h8, queen to g8 check doesn't work because black does not take with the rook. Black takes with the knight. And after knight to f7, rook takes knight. But Kramnik played the best move, and that is knight to d8. Discover check. King to h8. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is queen to e7. The rook can't be saved. If rook goes to g8, then knight to f7 checkmate. And what else? If rook takes knight, queen takes rook check. And Kasparov would have no nerves to continue from this position. Vladimir Kramnik announced his retirement from classical chess only a few days 
after finishing last in the Tata Steel 2019 chess tournament. We all reach our peak. Stay there and then we go south. So, if you haven't reached your peak yet, rejoice because you will not go south. Maybe. Just kidding. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.